Uh, I think the most important lesson that my parents have taught me is it's always going to be stressful living on the farm. Sometimes it rains, or sometimes we're in a drought. When it comes to weather, there's absolutely nothing you can do. But for some things, you just can't help it, so you just have to ride with the waves, not against them. My name is Cassidy Sawyer. I'm a fifth-generation farmer. This is my younger brother, Quinn, my older brother, Emmett. We live with my two parents, Matt and Tara Sawyer, northeast of Calgary. We grow canola, malt barley, barley, and wheat. How many pancakes am I making? How hungry is everyone? I would like four, please. Four? On weekends, we like to start our day off with the family. We talk about what we're going to do during the day, how we'd like to spend it, and what the plan is. Quinn, you're free today, right? We wanted to go and look at the canola, and I wanted to show you a bit about the sprayer, and then we can do, do some work in the, in the shop if we have time. All right, here you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Emmett, grab the bacon. When I'm home on weekends, as soon as the clock hits 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning, Dad puts me to work. Washing up all of our equipment, getting all the salt off, changing oil, making sure everything's working and prepping for the next season, so it's a lot of maintenance, that's for sure. Let's have a look at this canola and see how it's progressing, and then we'll get back and look at the sprayer. All right. Now that I'm older, my dad kind of realizes that I have the most interest in taking over the farm. Here's some holes here right, right in there. We sprayed this uh, a few days ago. That's probably some, some flea beetles are continuing to munch on that. It's just so windy today. We just can't go out and spray, but we'll keep an eye on it. The part that I most love about being in the field with my dad is just like kind of the bonding hours that we get. He's teaching me how things work and I really like spending time with him. Nice to see the canola growing finally with the moisture. It's one of the, the biggest steps to conservation. We don't have to do any tillage at all. It's a great system that we can seed directly into the standing stubble. The beauty of this canola is, is it's herbicide tolerant. We're able to control the weeds. Without affecting the Without plants. affecting the plants. So that it'll grow happy and healthy. Well, that's cool. And it doesn't have competition from the weeds. Yeah. So we're reducing our fuel consumption, we're preserving organic matter, and we're preserving our soil, which is better for the environment. It's a win-win for yeah, everybody. Better, better way to do it. I am studying agricultural enterprise management. I'll be learning a lot about how do we trade grain on a world market, how are prices affected, and as well as how do we open up trade doors with different countries. And I feel as though like I have a great knowledge of farming, but I don't know where I want to work just yet. Hello, everyone. My name is Emmett Sawyer, and I will be your host for this podcast. I started getting into podcasts because I thought it would be the best way to really show the another side of agriculture. We're gonna be talking about social media in ag. It was the best way to produce content where people could really learn a bit more about agriculture straight from the source, which is the farmer. It's great to have a voice that's promoting agriculture and educating people about agriculture in the real world. I was thinking that I'd like to go to U of A for agribusiness. I don't want to take over the family farm, but uh, I still would like to promote agriculture as much as I can. Well, this is it, Quinn. You're driving. Let's really? go. Really? Yeah, state-of-the-art sprayer. Let's roll. All right. This year, we just got a brand new sprayer, and it has GPS technology with sectional control shutoff on it. It automatically turns itself on and off depending on where you've been in the field. There you go. Man, it's just so windy today. We just can't go out and run it. But All right. I wanted to show you some of the features. It's really cool being in the spare with my dad because he's teaching me like the GPS and the auto steering. We marked a point A, and then we marked a point B. And now, we're driving. now you're on auto steer. It's a way more sustainable way of farming. I think Quinn's going to do a great job. He's so passionate about agriculture, and I can't Wait to see what he does with the farm. Lift up the wings out of the cradle. Okay. And you can lift them both up at the same time using both hands. Now, we just have the hydraulics pull them out. Push them all the way out, watch it automatically go down and adjust itself. So I think you've got it. Now let's bring those home. Good job, Quinn. It's crazy having two brothers, that's for sure. At the end of the day, I love spending time with my brothers. They're a little weird, but, you know, gotta love them, the family. 
Family's always gonna be number one. That's gonna be the people that you fall back on if something happens. I think that's why we enjoy our family walk so much. We're always talking about, well, if you kids ever wanna do come back to the farm, but how do we use what we have now to diversify? We're 45 minutes away from 1.3 million people. How can you capitalize on that opportunity? If you think if you wanna bring another business onto the farm, what does that look like? Maybe the kids wanna dream up some idea and expand the farm that way whether it's a distillery or a microbrewery, or even um, having weddings here because it is so picturesque, how do we help create a way to have more than one person surviving on the farm? Hopefully one day we can actually put these plans into motion. We've always told our children, of course, uh, there's a place for them to come back to the farm if they like. We've always encouraged them to be involved. We'd like to see it keep going. I hope that one of our kids does come back with a burning passion to do wonderful things on our farm. Yeah, that I mean, would be great. The sky is the limit.